Watch this before getting Meshi AI. Today, I wanna give my honest review on Meshi AI. I wanna talk about some of the pros that I really love about this tool, and then some of the cons that I think are worth knowing. By the way, my name's Chris, I'm a total AI nerd. And what I'm gonna do is just jump into the tool, show you some of the experiences I've had, some of the projects we've created, so let's just do it. So here is what the dashboard looks like for Meshi AI. It's extremely easy to figure out, so I do really like that, that is a huge pro. And if at any point in this video you wanna check it out, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. So up here are, is some navigation on the main features that we can be doing in Meshi AI. We can do text to image, text to 3D, image to 3D, and then 3D to video. And I've tested all of these and I just wanna show you some examples of some things that can be made. Here are some things people have made down here below, which are some 3D models, which are super cool. You can actually use a bunch of these as well. So let's jump into the, the most popular feature, which is image to 3D. This is essentially where you can upload an image in here, right here. And I know there's a lot of bells and whistles in different settings here, but it's actually really, really, really simple if you keep it that way. So what I did here is I went into Canva and I started finding images that I wanted to turn into 3D models, right? And the tool completely uses AI to turn images into 3D models, which is, you know, when 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 I say this at the be like when I tell people this, they don't believe it right away. And you have to see it to believe it because it's absolutely insane. So what it did here, I uploaded a picture of this car and it turned it into a 3D model. Like it's absolutely crazy. And what I've been doing is actually 3D printing these models on my 3D printer. Like look at this, this is absolutely insane. Also what I did was I took an image of one of my favorite dogs. This is a, a friend of the family here. And what I usually do here, I upload the image into Canva, I remove the background and then I save it as a JPEG and then I upload it over here. This is the image it came up with for the dog. Like it's absolutely crazy. Look at the difference here. His name's Leo. This is the image it took, a 2D image, and then it turned it into a three dimensional model. And it lets you download the files. Like it's absolutely crazy. I actually downloaded this and I 3D printed it. I wanna show you the results quick here. So I made a video on this on my 3D printing YouTube channel, so check it out. So here's the image, it turned it into an image, into the 3D model, and then it 3D printed it right here. Like it's absolutely crazy, that's the model you're looking at, right? There, it's the same model. Like if you're not seeing how crazy this is, like it, it I'm still blown away to this day. And like, I've been using this for like a week now. Here's another model that I used or it created for me. And it may not seem like much, but it actually turned a drawing a kid drew and it turned it into a model. Again, I have a video on this, check this out. Someone emailed me this drawing their child drew of a Roblox character and they begged me to turn it into a 3D model. And I did it in just a couple of seconds. I put it in the chat GPT to make a new model. And then here we are, and then we 3D printed it. Like if you, uh, like look at this, we, 3D printed it, it's that simple. So my opinion on Meshi AI, guys, I'm thoroughly blown away. The link will be in the description. What's crazy is I've been getting a lot of complaints about this tool costing like 20 bucks a month. What's cool is you'll get a free trial if you use my affiliate link down below. What happens is it'll let you create models for free, but it doesn't let you download them. And people are just outraged on my 3D print channel. Like, this is ruining the industry, but guys, AI is here. And they're like, no matter what you wanna say about it, like you either adapt it or get left behind. So let's look at some of the other models that I've been making here. My daughter wanted a small little Barbie dinner table because she's really into Barbies. So here it is. And within thin air, it made it. What's really cool is you can just tell Meshi AI a like a prompt. What I'll tend to do is I'll get into ChatGPT and say, hey, can you make me a prompt for Meshi AI? And it does exactly that. So here is the prompt right here. It says, a Barbie scale kitchen table designed for 11.5 inch dolls. It's really good. I highly advise you get in the chat GPT and have it make your prompts because it just does a really good job. So here is another little doll thing that my daughter really loves. She likes to put little dolls in here. We're gonna 3D print this. Crazy what it'll make. Here is a 90 degree elbow. Uh, my dad's a plumber and he was like, hey man, can you 3D print elbows and like plumbing fittings? I told it to make me a precise 3D model of a 90 degree PVC plumbing elbow fitting. Here it is, man. It did it in about 20 seconds. For Halloween, we were looking to 3D print fake dog poop and it made 3d models of it it says 
Create ultra realistic novelty prop of a small pile of fake dog poop. It just keeps going. But yeah, what you want to do is get really into ChatGPT and have it create the prompts for Meshi. It just does such a good job. You know, this feature right here is actually the image to 3D model feature. So if you go back to the dashboard here, what you can do here is do text to 3D. So click on that feature and then all you have to do is kind of give it a prompt. Like I said, what I do is I get into ChatGPT and I do exactly this. I talk to ChatGPT, so don't judge me. Can you create me a prompt for Meshi AI so that I can create a fake pair of eyeglasses like as a prop to wear? So just give that a second here. It doesn't take long at all. So here it is. It says prompt for Meshi AI. Ultra realistic. Actually, let's just throw this in there to see what it comes up with just to show you a real life example. So I'm gonna paste the prompt here and then I'm gonna click generate and probably in around 20 seconds or so, it's gonna create it. All right, so it took about 35 seconds here. What's cool? is the tool will actually give you multiple different usually it gives you four different like models so here they are right here some of them are like way off base you can tell this one right here is not that great but it's cool though is it gives you four different tries and these ones are a little messed up these ones look perfect though. So then you just click on generate and it only takes one minute of your credits. Speaking of credits, I think it's worth talking about pricing here. So if you do the pricing, if we look at the monthly here, it's $20 a month and you'll get a thousand monthly credits versus if you pay $60, you'll get 4,000 monthly credits. So for 20 bucks, you could be making these models, you can sell them, give them away, et cetera. Like we're like within seconds, you can turn, turn an image or a sentence into a 3d model like for people that aren't fathoming this i don't know like how to even like portray this to you like how crazy it is and as far as the credit system here so to create a model here so like when i went to create this it was one minute or like 10 credits it'll say down here like when i made the prompt here it was 10 credits so if we go back to the pricing you get a thousand credits so if to create or generate a 3D model is 10, that shows you how many credits like you'll be using. Like I, like it's a lot of credits. That's what I'm saying. All right, so here is the glasses. It finally finished that, it took about a minute. So here's the model of the fake authentic or the fake ultra realistic glasses. I mean, look at this. I can 3D print this. That's all I do is click download right here. And, it, and if you want to um, add color, like for example, like right here, this is our character that we took from a drawing and turned it into a 3D model. You can actually turn it into color as well. It'll read your image and turn it into color. So these, the pros of this are it's absolutely insane. Meshi AI, the pros are insane. It uses AI to turn images or prompts into 3D models. You can actually do like videos as well, which are absolutely insane. Here's a 3D video based on the 3D model. It can do this, you can download it. It's absolutely insane some of the cons here let's talk about these because i feel like these are worth knowing like some of the ultra like hard things to do like someone told me hey man you can't 3d model a car with it you can kind of tell some of the details it gets lost in the details like these details are kind of crappy and if we're being honest you know it does really simple things very well like the figures the figurines and the dogs and the simple stuff. But when it comes to ultra like in-depth detail, it doesn't do so well. Not only that, but when it comes to like changing your models, like there's some like remeshing features where you can do like texture and you can speak to it. I have found that trying to change your models is extremely difficult. So you're kind of at the mercy of just trying to get it correct on like the first time. And what's cool is the model will actually give you multiple multiple choices. Like for example, here it gave us four choices and which one to choose, which is ultra helpful, right? But that's AI for you guys. Again, my link will be in the description if you wanna check it out. Watch this before getting Meshi AI. This is my honest review on Meshi AI. I talked about a bunch of the pros that I love about this tool and some of the cons. Let me know in the comments. Links will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.